Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman and thanks for joining us again with Cooking with Carolina Nephrology. Uh, we're going to be cooking something great today. We're going to be making meat and potatoes. This is a dish that uh, is not something that I normally eat. I may be somebody that would rather go for tofu and smoked quinoa or something crazy like that, but I know that doesn't work for most people. And most people, um, most people want some meat and potatoes and there are ways to do it and make it healthy. And there are ways to eat potatoes and make them low potassium. So this is what we're gonna go over in this session. Uh, the recipe we're gonna be making today is a brisket. It's a slow cooked brisket and it's got some delicious spices in there, not a lot of salt, and we're gonna be cooking with beer, which makes it even more fun. All right, so let's get going. So our first ingredient is gonna be these potatoes. Now, potatoes, white potatoes, red potatoes, it doesn't matter what, are full of potassium, and a lot of people on dialysis or with advanced kidney disease can't have a lot of potassium. It just builds up in their body when their kidneys aren't working. So there are ways to um, make that work and the dietitians will tell you that you leach the potatoes and that gets rid of the potassium and it's really true. Now I was a little skeptical at first about how it would actually change the flavor of the potatoes over time but in something like this where you're stewing the recipe it works great. So we've got three cups of cubed peeled white potato and we're going to soak it in a bowl of water for about two hours, drain it off and that'll give us lower potassium potatoes to cook with our brisket and potatoes. All right, so we're gonna put them in a bowl of water. We're gonna put that to the side and let that soak for about two hours, then drain it. And then let's get back to our brisket and that's gonna be cooking a long time in the slow cooker anyway, so you've got plenty of time to let the potassium leach out of those potatoes. So what I've got is a two and a half pound brisket that I've taken about two minutes and seared each side on, in a frying pan with a little bit of oil. That's going to help caramelize the outside and give you a little deeper flavor. And we're going to put that right in our crock pot. And to that brisket, we're going to add our braising liquid. And it's going to be low on the sodium, high on the flavor. So what we've got is um, about three tablespoons of some beef broth low sodium. We got about three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. We got a tablespoon of brown sugar. We got a teaspoon of minced garlic. We've got a half a teaspoon of allspice. We got two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Some people use ketchup here, but it's got a little more sugar. And we're going to give that a nice little mix and pour it right over the brisket. And then to that, we're going to add our beer. Now, you can make this with light beer or with dark beer, depending on what kind of flavor profile you like. Um, either way will be delicious. We're going to pour that right in on top. And then to that, we're going to add some onion right on top of that brisket. Okay, and we have a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce we're going to add to that. Now comes the hard part. We we'll put the lid on and turn it on low and cook it for about eight to ten hours and that'll give you your brisket. All right, so here we are eight hours later. Now actually we just have a uh, brisket that we've been cooking uh, while we've been uh, waiting and beforehand so we're ready to show you what the finished product looks like. Uh, what we do first is with the potatoes. So about 30 minutes before that eight to ten hours is up, uh, you'll want to turn the slow, slow cooker up to high Put those three cups of leached potatoes in after you've drained the water out and let that cook for about 30 more minutes and you get a delicious final product of meat and potatoes. So let's take a look at what our final product looks like. Take it out and slice it up. Now you can see on the brisket I've left a little bit of fat on there which I would slice off prior to serving. So how are you going to serve this meat? You could do it on a plate with mashed potatoes and a biscuit and really make it unhealthy. I mean, if you take like uh, six slices and just keep going and going, that's where you get into trouble. We don't want to tell you not to eat any brisket, obviously, but just be careful with it and don't eat a lot and you'll be fine. So let's, let's slice up some of that brisket and see how we're going to serve it. First way we're going to serve it is hot, okay? And I've made this nice plate of things to serve it with. I don't want you to think that you can't have any fun with this because this is going to be pretty good. This is going to require you to 
change your taste buds just a little bit. So what we have here is cauliflower that's been boiled for about eight minutes, then put in a food processor with about a quarter cup of olive oil and some rice milk, and then maybe a little bit of salt if you want. And it tastes like fake mashed potatoes. It's not quite as good, but they're pretty good. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about two to three slices of the meat, just sit it right over there. And then we're gonna scoop a little bit of the potatoes and gravy on top. All right, and with that, you've got a much healthier dinner plate than what you could have. Uh, provided that you only take one, rather than go back for seconds and thirds, etc. cetera. Uh, there's also a recipe here for carrots with a little lemon and cumin, and that'll be on the website if you wanna learn more about how to make that together. Okay, so that's one way to serve your brisket hot. Now you're also gonna have brisket left over the next day if you make a big brisket like this. So the way I'm gonna show you how to serve it is not on a brisket sandwich with two pieces of bread and mayonnaise, etc. So let's see how we do that. All right, we're gonna do it on lettuce wraps. This might make a fun appetizer. I'm gonna get some more slices here of our brisket and we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them on the lettuce. Now, once we've got that, we're gonna put on our little lettuce wraps some cucumber, pickled cucumber. The recipe will be on our website. And then on top of that, we'll go a dollop of Greek yogurt mixed with a little horseradish if you really want to get tasty. Then you can kind of wrap them up and take them as an appetizer and it'll be delicious. So here we have two ways to eat our brisket, our slow cooked brisket. Both ways will keep you under your uh, requirements for potassium and for sodium. Uh, they're low in carbohydrate, especially if you go easy on those potatoes. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can see on our website, carolinanephrology.com slash cooking for our whole host of kidney-friendly foods and recipes and videos and a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us today.